<laughs> 415 Comcast Business Text Line. Trying to save you some time, Shasky. Sermon was inactive on Sunday. Was he? Was he? Yeah. Uh, I, okay, I was looking up inactive. So thank you for, for looking yeah. that up. Alexander Madison, Vikings. Eh. He was good backup for uh, Cook last year when eh. Cook was out. Show some juice. I mean, if you're going to move any draft capital at this right. point. You need a big time player. I mean, just a player that's got a little more something left in him. And clearly, Kareem Hunt wants to get paid at the end of the year. I don't know if you're going to do it, but I'd do it for him. I'd do it too. I'd do it too. Josh Jacobs. Mm, I don't know. Josh Jacobs? He's so little. Showed a little something against the Chargers on Sunday, and the Raiders the, lost to the Chargers. The guy that I was hoping would be available, and it's not going to happen now, but I was hoping, like, hey, maybe they move Saquon? off of Saquon. Yeah, no. And it's, it's like happening. after that game? Yeah, no. Hell no, Hell they're no. not moving <laughs> off of Saquon. <laughs> Saquon looked amazing. I wouldn't take Tennessee you Titans. fifth overall, but I right. will trade a pick for you. Yeah, would you trade a second-round pick for Saquon right now? Probably. Yeah. I could, I could be talked to. Man, he's a, he's a big time dual purpose yeah, back. No, yeah, and that's what the Niners need. He that's looks healthy all, too. I, I just want a guy who could be a threat in the passing game. When's the last time the Niners had a back in the passing game who could be a threat? Mostert showed glimpses. Frankie he showed G. glimpses. Frankie G. Even so, though he wasn't, I, I would say pass wasn't catching ideal wasn't. Pass catcher, yeah. It wasn't his forte, but he Early was a great pass career. blocker. Yep, yep, yep. Supposed to be Jared McKinnon. Oh, boy. That's why they got him. Yeah. The that's jet? why they fell in love with him. The paper airplane? Yep, yep. That's why they fell in love with him. <laughs> and I think that they learned a lesson there, and that's what I say to both of you in this conversation. I'm not paying a running back. I, I don't care if it's the 49ers, the Panthers, any football team in the NFL. I am not ever paying a running back again. I don't they, think I'll pay. They get hurt way too but much. Take it, a flyers on third and fourth and fifth, sixth round picks and expect them to play 17 games also is not beneficial. I, I, like. I don't think Joe they are expecting him. Pick. Like they're, 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 he said yesterday, we are openly not expecting a I don't running like that, back though. to play 17 games. I, we want four or five guys. Yeah, and we, I, I said this before the year started. I know, I know. You're going to get three or four starts out of probably all of those guys. I don't like that. Well, what, what, what was the know, Kareem Hunt conversation? Because I'm a Kareem Hunt I, Me too. Fan. My, my thing was just this. like He needs a, a contract. Bolton that, fan. <laughs> he needs to get a contract at the end of the year. Right. I, I, it doesn't feel like Cleveland is in love with him in terms of, you know, they're not married to keeping him. They have to Ernest Johnson but as well. two TDs against Carolina, and you see the burst and for that second TD. I would trade a mid-round pick because of the way they've used their mid-round picks lately. I would trade it yeah, for one right. year of Kareem Hunt. It, it, was, is Cleveland doing that? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know if Cleveland's looking to dump him. Probably not. But, like, you think you know, about what the Niners have. I would have fly their... here, though. I mean, we all love him as a you know player. Um, screw, cue up the Ann Killian article right now. I don't care. I don't, that. I don't care about that. Lynch, Shanahan, and Jed York have done a great job of finding high character guys and standing away from that. I think they could take a chance on a player like that and still have the equity to say, okay, we get it. He gets a second chance. Eddie like, D would. Eddie D would in a heartbeat. Oh, Al just, Davis I don't. I just don't even think this is in play. I, I, I don't think it's, it's probably in play. not in play. This guy tried to I say I demand I, a I trade. I demand a heartbeat, Larry. He, he tried to say a few weeks ago I demand a trade, and he sat on the sideline for about an hour and a half. And, and and that was the end of the conversation. The Browns like, get your butt back on the field. And then he scored two touchdowns week one. Here's the thing, They're Mark. not trading him. They're not blinking. They're let not doing let anything. Me you, let me he ask you this. He's a terrific back. Yeah, he's, he's a terrific back. Terrific. And Dual he's a threat yeah. in the passing yeah. game. Yeah. Give me a back who can catch the ball out of the backfield. You look at the Niners. They're not throwing the ball to Elijah Mitchell. I mean, and let's be honest. The Niner whole game plan and recipe for success is all going to be about the run game. Agreed. If so they, why not invest in the top flight back? Like I was going to ask you guys, and I was going to ask Mark later on, who would you like to see lead the Niners in carries in week two? I, I wanted them to uh, at least split the carry. Like, I got an answer give, for like, that. Like, okay, for Jordan example, Mason. Yep. give Mason, Mason a couple touches. Like, I'm not saying he's got to get 15, but like in the game the other day, I am. when you're not getting any juice from Jeff Wilson Jr., what's the downside of one touch to see if Listen, the guy can break a tackle? I, I know what every coach will say, which is you got two rookies who have both not taken one snap yet in the NFL, yeah. and so they are much more worried about what he'll do when he does but Elijah didn't either until right. week one. But they're much more worried oh, about what he would do without the ball than what he's going to do yeah, with yeah. the ball. These guys can carry the ball. We, we we saw that in the preseason. We've seen that in their college careers. So I don't know how buttoned up they would all be as blockers. I haven't gone that deep on, on the tape yet and whatnot. We haven't seen enough of them play. But I, I'm also a big believer in, in flow 
which so many running backs don't get in the NFL yeah. today because rhythm they, mean. right? Yes, they get, I'm they, with you. You know, with this. they get two carries, three carries. Marshawn get off the field. was better in the fourth than he was I mean, in the first. You yeah. can do fire and ice. Look at Javante and Melvin Gordon last night for the Broncos. I thought they did some good things. Yeah, and and keeping them fresh. And I I, I get all of that for that field goal. Yeah, but like well, right, <laughs> both, wow. both, of, both of them both of them did a great job Sorry. of fumbling inside the five yard line as well. <laughs> right, so they both did that. Well, nice you, know, you know why they did that? Because I bet the. Denver Broncos. Well, of you? course yeah. they uh, did. That was a bad well, bet. Well, but yeah. The home dog on a Monday night. Game. You know, know better than that. Know, That's the oldest trick know. in the book, Larry. With this running back thing, though, like, you're a run first team. You're a run first team. You want to play a physical brand of football. And Seattle's mm. coming down to Levi Stadium on Sunday. <laughs> That's a physical they look defense. ready to hit. Is, Can is I, Jordan Mason ready to take that contact? This is going to be a body bag game. Pete Carroll's going to have these dudes hunting. like, And that's why when I look at Joe Mixon, I look at Najee, I look at Saquon, I look at all these guys who are getting 20-plus carries and their factors in a pass game, they were second round. A lot of these guys were second-round picks. Second-round picks, and you're whiffing on third-round picks of Trey Sermon. You're whiffing on Joe Williams, a fourth-round pick. TDP is not even active. Why not just go up another round where you take Aaron Banks in the second round? He doesn't look like an NFL player. Looks like Tyler Rochelle. Why not just invest in the Top two, when all, a second round pick or a late first round pick and a running back. I don't get it. And all when the best guys, run the football, when all the best guys flow, are in the second like, round. Think about now, running backs. How tough it is to, dra- to, to ha- tackle Saquon Barkley in the fourth quarter or De- Derrick Henry, Taylor. Joe Mixon. They get better as the game goes along. Yeah, but also, I mean, first off, look at the running backs around the NFL, and and you know, are, are they all? Like first round picks. I mean, there's a lot of second. They're no, second. second round picks. A lot of second round, well, picks. Second round picks. Forty ers have been using capital in the third round on running backs. And they're whiffing, and they've, and they've been whiffing, and people are ripping them for even trying. Let me back the question up a little bit further. Why are we buying into this whole the 49ers must be a run first team? Is it because Trey is young, or is it because Shanahan? has a history as a run game guy, and so we're going to go with that because this was also the offensive both. coordinator for Matt Ryan and Julio Jones. Yeah, but they ran the ball with both those guys, yeah, with the two running backs, Foreman Matt, and Coleman. Matt Ryan won the MVP. I, you're not winning in the NFL with this run first stuff. They had Julio Jones. You're not. So we got <laughs> yeah, Debo right, and, right. and Brandon Ayuk. I, you're not winning in the well, NFL. I, why are we talking are you about gonna it? Beat, are you going to beat Herbert and Mahomes and Allen and Brady with we run the ball? Well, you're going to lose. Almost to the you Super Bowl by running got, the ball. You twice. Do what you do. <laughs> yeah. twice. I mean, the 49ers. And, and, and what they, they do. And who they lose and, to. And they've clearly, looking Why at the they way they, they, they put the roster together, yeah. no, they, they went lost with a ton they... of old linemen. They went yes. with bigger backs. Yes. They went with you know four tight ends. Thank I mean, you. They're, they're saying to everybody on the outside, Full back. we're running it. Yep. We're running the ball. So, and, and that's Good Sh- luck. Shanahan's whole offense is predicated on <laughs> run the ball, play action pass, you know, crucify and, your And you should have won defense. two Super Bowls yeah. by doing it. Yeah. You should have. And, and, and you and did. The Patriots. And you lost. And you lost the teams that sling it. Think about well, the Patriots. I'm sure, I'm sure, sure. if the quarterback the was Patriots. better, they would adjust their thinking. But I do believe, just conceptually, my particular football fundamentals, if you play the way Arizona plays, your team is infinitely less physical come yep. December mm-hmm. and January yep. because of the right. way they yep. structure their offense. That's, a bad that's defense. the way I view it. But that's a bad no, defense. No, but you're a shotgun old game. Like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right. It's very predictable come December Joe and November. Joe Mixon ran and they don't horrible playoffs last year. Even the Niners year. beat him in 2020 with that style of offense. They beat him down at Glendale. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not comparing him to the style of play. I'm comparing him to, and I thought this is why you went to get Trey, and yeah. it, it's way too early to write him off. That's yeah. not what I'm doing. Be right. Yeah, yes, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Well, right now, you better, you better, so that why, that's well, why right I'm asking now, the question. I think Jimmy and Trey's better on a pitch count. Exactly. Let me ask you this, Mark. And their three best plays were all play action. Yep. That's the other thing. All their three best throws were play action I'm not, this, I'm not saying don't run the ball. Let me ask you this. The Patriots last Super Bowl win against the Rams. How did they win that football game? Oh, 7 3 running. 13 3, Sonny <laughs> Michelle. Whatever it was. Pound, they went to a fullback yeah. high formation yeah. and pounded them. You're spot- CJ pounded Anderson them. carried the right. Rams and uh, that the Falcons one year. To the Patriots. I know yeah. Matt Ryan won MVP, yeah. but they were running the ball against the Patriots. Your Freeman and Coleman were killing the Patriots. Spotlight in one game, okay? The I Patriots. Could go to a lot of games. Right. The Patriots quarterback is called the GOAT. Okay, this is how you win in the NFL. They won and by I'm running the football. The, I'm under <laughs> the impression. I'm not saying don't run the football, but this whole like that's what we do and throw for 150 yards and that's fine. You're going to lose almost all the time. He doesn't need to be that yet, but we need to have our eyes on. That's why you made this pick. If you just wanted to run the ball and get somebody to throw the ball over the middle, I got a guy. His name's Jimmy. So it, it, it's only five games that we've seen Trey Lance play now. 
Four games, whatever. It's three. It's way too early. But a half in the Seattle game. Okay, three games last year, one this year. I'm not saying we're there yet. But this, I am not sitting back and going, yeah, we're just, we're going to Debo right, Debo left. This better arc toward your hope that Trey Lance can become one of these dudes. Because if he can't, you're not going to win. Well, it's, 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 and win. it's all tied together. That's why you got Ray Ray. Yes. That's why you got Danny Gray. You know, maybe you don't believe in your offensive line right away as pass blo- a pass blocking O line. That was hard to believe when, when you guys had Baldy on and he's talking. You guys are talking about the run, the P- PFF run PFF, grade. Did you believe chill. that? I mean, I, I love on. Jeff Dini and I love the PFF people, but it's kind of like plus minus in a singular <laughs> NBA you. game. I can't stand plus minus. Well, oh I don't, my god! You know, like, I, don't, <laughs> I, I don't mind it. Like, uh, right. like if you tell me Andre Iguodala is right. the best plus minus player in the league over he's the smart. course yeah. of the whole right. season for the season, I'm, I like it for right. a game. It means jack. Right. Right. No. You're, Who you're else is out on the court with them for that one? But in the right, PFF right. running thing, like, it's just uh, my eyes are telling me something different. I, I just I don't know. They said it, they had the best pass blocking grade this Sunday. I guess the Bears. Yeah, they're the best in the league. Best in the league. Yeah, that's... I mean, that's hard to believe. (laughs) That's hard (laughs) to believe. I mean, there was only... PSF said that about the 49ers. Yeah, Yeah, but except for we did their individual pass block ranks by by offensive linemen, and there was only one who was in the top half of the entire NFL. I agree with you. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. By the way, we got breaking news here. Yeah, I saw you talking about the Suns. Baxter Holmes, Phoenix Suns majority owner Robert Sarver has been suspended for one year from the Suns and the Mercury and find ten million dollars and must complete a training oh, program focused on respect and appropriate yeah. conduct in the workplace. Have you? So there was uh, uh, Amin <laughs> El Hassan, who's on Metal Lark now, used to be on ESPN yeah. uh-huh. and the Jump. He's been talking about this owner. This owner is out of control. Oh. And I heard the language that he uses around the players and around other employees, as well as just misconduct in general. Th- this is long overdue. Yeah. The league has wanted him out for a while. Yeah. What, what's yeah. coming up? You've heard the same thing, Mark? Yeah. Well, oh, I, I have my best friend is one of the broadcasters for the Suns. I'll leave it at Didn't that. Didn't know that. Um, this, 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 um, the Phoenix, Arizona area has some hell of an ownership group. <laughs> the Bidwells. Thing going on. Okay, <laughs> let me just say that. And somehow this dude has become the lesser in terms of class of the two ownership groups uh, for for those teams there. I don't really know much about the Diamondbacks ownership, but they want to move anyway, to Vegas. Wait, wait. Yeah, Sarver's this, weighing in. He says, "F that S." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, he is. Uh, he's a piece of work, right, he's Mark? A piece of work. That's what I've heard he's too. A piece yeah. of work. Yeah, he's this. a piece of work, and he deserves this and probably a hell of a lot more. Uh, What's coming up on your show? Um, you know, uh, we're we're Jimmy? chatting this out. Well, no, we're, PFF. Like, I, I, there's two things I think that are that Sarver are that are 10. big today. No. <laughs> we're definitely going to get. I love I, lo- I loved your conversation today with with no. Gabe and Zach Mattel and all that. We're definitely George Contos going to come on at ten because I want to hear from a reliever oh. about yeah, yeah. conversations yeah. on the mound and how he sees this. And we're, we're not getting, getting Gabe and Latell in studio? Well, you might get Gabe Yapler <laughs> and Zach Latell in studio. Um, so we'll, we'll get into that. But also, I thought, and, and this is big for Kyle Shanahan, there's an extension of what we saw in the Monday night game last night. Trust in your quarterback which I think is a big question for Kyle Shanahan yep. as well. So we're going to get into that. I'm ready to hear all yeah. of that. Uh, before we go, you two, Armando Benitez, uh, we were going down the rabbit hole. Did that do yeah. anything for the two of you? I made enjoyed me, it. Made I me enjoyed laugh. It. Made you, me laugh. You know, do you, you know, remember him flipping the ball? Well, I do. But do you do you guys <laughs> remember that who got him who got him traded? It was it was Ralph. Was it? Oh, yeah, yeah that's because of the Ralph stuff. And, yes. And then Saves came on came on and said, All right, Ralph, now who are you gonna whip? You know? And he goes like, Okay, we traded him. Now who's gonna be your guy? You know, Do you like, know who they traded him for? Greg a UC Davis guy, right? Randy Messenger. Oh, was it Randy Messenger? Randy Remember that? Messenger. I know. I know. I went down. By the, the way, your stat can't be right. There's no way it he was had 14, 14 career okay, career in a you. Giants uniform. I'm like, there's <laughs> no I, way I, I, he threw 14 saves in the first two I months of the season. Wrong. I read my own There's no wrong. way there would. I'm, I'm like, listen, to that. I go. That sounds great, but there's he no did, way he did have more saves than Mark Melanson through his well, tenure, which is crazy yeah, to say. Not not big on and that he was closer either. To stretch. He was willing oh. to stretch. He's willing to stretch. Good cover first, though. Such a mess. I'll be listening. All right, boys.